WWF was forced to go to WWE. Great storyline, great characters. All of that is missing today. All of it does not exist today. You got flip flops and flyers out there, high spot after high spot. Nobody's selling anything. Nobody wants to win the match. Very weak, weak, weak storylines and very, very few characters. Are WWE belts real gold? No, they are not. They are gold plated. And I'll tell you what, no, number one, to have a real gold belt would be extremely expensive. There would also be the concern of the belt being stolen. You guys got to understand, man, these champions they literally carry the belts around with them through airports, in hotel rooms, in Waffle House. So if it was real gold and these belts were stolen, the WWE would run into tens of thousands of dollars. Do WWE wrestlers practice their matches? Now guys, in the old school of professional wrestling, the wrestlers would call it in the ring. In other words, they would listen to the crowd and the crowd would dictate the match to them and the wrestlers would talk to each other in the ring, laying out the match in real time. They never went over it in the back. Today, it is completely different with all this flip flop and flying you see matches today are 90 percent rehearsed choreographed practice the day of how do wwe wrestlers blade well there's there's numerous ways first of all the hard way and that means that a wrestler really gets busted open that's called the hard way it was real the other way is usually wrestlers will take a little piece of a razor blade and wrap it up in the tape on their wrist. Then when the time comes to bleed, they'll take the razor blade out, usually bury their head in the mat, and they will just scrape their forehead with the razor blade. There have been some instances where some wrestlers like their opponents. Uh, to literally blade them and get them uh, beating. Now, listen, there have been horror stories where that has been a disaster and, and a wrestler may have cut his opponent too hard. Uh, so usually they do it themselves because they trust themselves and they've done it a million times. That's why you will see so many scars on foreheads. Why did WWF change to WWE? Because prior to the World Wrestling Federation, there was a, I, I believe it was World Wildlife Federation. I believe it was World, I, I may be wrong. And they had the same initials and they had them first. So when WWE came along with WWF, the Wildlife Foundation said, uh-uh, we will sue you if you don't drop the name. So the WWF was forced to go to WWE. Are WWE wrestlers friends in real life? Listen, man, it's like anything else, man. You guys go to work every day. There are some people you like. There are some people you don't like. There are some people you hang out with. There are some people you stay away from. So absolutely, yes, there are friendships within the ranks of professional wrestling. However, there is the other side of that where there are wrestlers that do not get along. Why is WWE so bad today? Because they have gone away from what has brought them to the dance. And what brought them to the dance, the very foundation of professional wrestling was wrestling every move meant something every wrestler wanted to win the match there was selling you believe 
You believed what you were seeing. It was a suspension of the disbelief. That's what the casual fans of wrestling love. Plus, great storyline, great characters. All of that is missing today. All of it does not exist today. You got flip flops and flyers out there. High spot after high spot. Nobody's selling anything. Nobody wants to win the match. Very weak, weak, weak storylines and very, very few characters. So at the end of the day, wrestling the WWE, they forgotten what brought them to the dance, in my opinion. Can WWE wrestlers fight in the UFC? Probably not. Listen, we've got new ownership now in the WWE and things may change especially since WWE, UFC, they're in business together under the uh, Endeavor banner. However, back in the day, if you had a contract with the WWE, you ain't working anywhere else, man. You're not working UFC. You're not working for other wrestling promotions. You're not making movies. You're not making uh, commercials. You're not doing anything without the permission of the WWE. And even if you do something, they are going to get a piece of it. But while you were a professional wrestler, they were not going to allow you to wrestle in the uh, UFC. Why did Vince McMahon sell the WWE? I'm going to be honest with you on this one. I don't know. I believe there were a lot of issues behind the scenes within the McMahon family. And perhaps, perhaps Vince did not want to hand the company over to his daughter, son-in-law, Shane. And before he would allow that to happen, he was going to sell it to a third party. That is what I speculate. That is my opinion. Is WWE scripted? Man, during the Attitude Era, when I was writing the shows, when it was me and Vince and me and Ed, we gave the performers, the wrestlers, the freedom to be themselves. In other words, how it worked was I would give them bullet lines. I would write some lines for them in the, for their promos. But I would give them direction because I was working with professionals. These people knew what they were doing. You know, I would work one-on-one -on -one with Austin, one-on-one -on -one with Taker, you know, one-on-one -on -one with Mick. Uh, but today it's completely different. Today, practically every single promo in the ring is scripted. And as a matter of fact, if the talent don't stick to the script 100%, then they are going to find themselves in hot water. And if you look at a lot of these, these promos closely, you will see they are very unnatural because the talent is defensive and they're afraid they're going to forget a word or forget a line and they're going to be in trouble. And you can see that if you actually watch these promos closely. Do WWE stars use fake blood? Absolutely not when they're bleeding. Now, if you're you're working with a group like the, the Brood and blood drops from the ceiling, yes, that is fake theatrical blood. But when somebody is bleeding during a match, as I said, it's usually hard way or they're usually taking a little blade to themselves. It is not fake blood. Is Vince McMahon still running the WWE? Me knowing Vince on a very personal basis, there is no how, no way he doesn't have his hands in what goes on on a week-to-week -week basis in the WWE. Now, Vince has had some legal issues. Uh, we know all about the NDAs. We know the federal government is looking into Vince. I think they are trying to make it look like they are 
trying to separate themselves from Vince. But I think that is that is all being done. I think that is all being scripted. I think Vince McMahon is still very much involved in the week-to-week process. I just want to make one thing perfectly clear. I can't be 100% sure on that, but knowing the man, yes, I would bet money on that. Did Vince McMahon force wrestlers to use steroids absolutely not i never ever ever saw that but could there have been conversations where you need to put on 50 pounds you need to add more bulk you need to add more muscle 1000 percent i am sure of that that is vince's way of saying you need to get bigger and how do you get bigger quickly you get bigger through steroids so i'm sure vince mcmahon alluded to that without saying it but force wrestlers to take steroids absolutely not. why did vince mcmahon have a storyline romance with his own daughter i, I could tell you the truth because i'm not looking for a job because vince mcmahon is a little sick in the head when it comes to stuff like that. Vince McMahon has had a lot of really weird ideas over the years and absolutely having a romance with your own daughter would be right up there. As a writer, would I have ever thought of doing anything like that? Absolutely not. So I don't know, man, I guess that's a question you're gonna have to ask Vince. Was Brock Lesnar the right choice to break the streak. I think he was because Taker endorsed it. Taker and Brock Lesnar were very, very, very good friends. And it was Taker's suggestion and it was Taker's way of handing the baton over to Brock Lesnar. Listen, man, when Taker had that string going, I honestly feel like It should have been up to him of who was going to end that streak. He should have handpicked who was going to end that streak, and he did. He handpicked Brock Lesnar, and because of that, I do believe it was the right thing to do. All right, guys, there it is, man. I hope I answered all of your questions for today. Man, I got to hand it to you. Some great questions. I really enjoyed discussing a lot of them. A lot of those I haven't touched upon uh, recently. So thank you for the great questions. Bro, any comments, any questions, anything you want to ask me or throw my way, please leave in the comments below. I'll see you all next time, man.